Theranos, Firefest, WeWork. What do these things have in common with outer space? <laughs> well, Desi Lydic has the answer in a special report. Mars, humanity's side piece. The worse our relationship gets with Earth, the more we lust after that cold, unattainable hunk just out of reach. Which is why everyone went wild for Mars One, a private company who in 2012 offered four lucky Earthlings a one-way ticket to Mars. Mars One has selected its final hundred contenders to form a colony on the foreign planet. That is actually happening in life. People are being offered a one-way ticket to Mars. Yet thousands still signed up and paid application fees for a chance to go to Mars forever. Who would do that? My name is Layla Zucker and I'm an emergency medicine physician. What would make someone want to take a one-way trip to Mars? You know, aside from just being a woman on this planet right now. It's been almost 50 years since we went onto the moon. It's time to go. So you're telling me you would choose space over your husband? I would. My husband is okay with that because if you love something, you have to let it go. Are you sure you don't just need a little bit of space? Like I tell my husband that I've got book club once a week. There's no book club. I barely read. It's not really about that. We need to make humans a multi-planet species. Unfortunately for Layla and 99 other finalists, there's only one problem. Mars One is now filing for bankruptcy. Was Mars One ever a real thing at all? The more that I looked at it, I kind of felt like, mm, this is like not a real thing at all. They didn't have any kind of real money. They weren't working with SpaceX. Their idea was they make reality TV shows, but where do you get the money before that to pay for the scientists, the gear, everything else that goes into actually getting you there? You know what they should have done? They should have done a pyramid scheme. I had a very successful pyramid scheme going in college. It was basically like Herbalife, but with 100% cocaine. Uh -huh. I would sell it, then I had other people selling it, I would take a cut of it. It's pretty great. That sounds like you were just selling drugs. What are you, a cop? Like I told those prosecutors, I'm gonna need a second opinion. So I turned to real life astronaut Chris Hatfield. Mars One had no spaceships. They gave everybody the impression that you could just go buy a, a spaceship that could take you to Mars, but those spaceships don't even exist. They still have to be invented. Mars One was a scam. They built people out of a million dollars, and when they just went broke recently, they still owe somebody else another million euros. But you, don't, you don't mean a scam scam. You just mean they told the world that they had a thing, but they didn't actually have the thing, and they couldn't deliver on the thing. That's what scams are. What kind of magician can pull off an illusion this big? I had to find the man behind it all, Mars One CEO Boz Lansdorp. I didn't want him to be suspicious, so I started off slow. Is Mars One a scam? Uh, Mars One is definitely not a scam, and I think that if you take a real good look at our website, you cannot be convinced otherwise. As everyone knows, the best way to check to see if something is a scam is to see if it has a website. And like any legitimate space venture, Mars One offers sweet merch and a chance to donate monthly. Don't forget that in 61, when Kennedy said we're going to the moon before the end of the decade, mm -hmm. they basically had nothing. Okay, if President Kennedy and 400,000 people working for NASA could turn a dream into a moon landing, maybe Boz and his team could get us to Mars. How many people do you have on staff at your company? Uh, there's 10 people currently working on Mars One. 10 people? Yes. How many of the 10 are scientists? So uh, there's uh, three engineers currently involved in Mars One, and the others are more on the storytelling part of the company. Seven of the 10 are more involved in the storytelling process? Yes. So if I invest in Mars One, am I investing in a space program or a media story? Investors are really investing in a, in a media company that's selling the story. So all this time, Mars One was nothing more than a sales pitch sold to us as news? How could the entire world be fooled by this one Dutchman? The media. Sorry, um, you said the, the media? Yeah, 
MIT was putting out papers about how Mars One's plans were going to actually kill the people within 68 days of arriving because they would suffocate to death. But then you would turn on the news, you would see this kind of like softball coverage. What items would be on your bucket list? What, what do you need to check off before you go to Mars? These people are really going, everybody. There are two things she will really miss about Earth. Her husband of 22 years and her favorite food, hamburgers. The media perpetuated and, and magnified the lie. Ugh, yeah, media's the worst. <laughs> the first step in becoming a truth-telling journalist? Informing Layla that she's been scammed. That doesn't make it a scam. In order to have a scam, you have to be fooling someone and you have to be stealing from them. And nobody has really paid anything other than the original um, application fee. So if, if you're not stealing and you're just fooling somebody, it's innocent. It's an innocent lie that makes life on Earth more magical. Like Santa Claus or basically, the Easter Bunny. Basically, yes. Or like when you tell your husband you only slept with his father once. You know, little lies that make people happier. We say it's only going to take 10 years and it's only going to take $6 million. And we know those aren't true. But in order to pursue these dreams, sometimes we take small liberties. Everybody is allowed to dream, but the media's job is not to report dreams, it is to report the facts. Exactly. A journalist's job is to seek the truth and to stay sharp. And the best way to stay sharp is with Herbicane, the only herbal supplement made of 100% cocaine. Herbicane. Mmm, that feels good. <laughs> Mars One had a story to sell. And like the customers of my herbal supplement, most of the media bought it without examining the product. That's how you end up in a world where Theranos gets the coverage that it did. It's how Fire Festival happens. And there's really big consequences for things like that happening. Maybe that explains Mars One. When you live on a planet where facts no longer matter and the media legitimizes something that was fundamentally empty from the beginning, it's no wonder people want to escape. But fighting for a world where truth counts is a mission I can believe in. Just tell me when we get there. Thank you, everybody.